Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Monday the 7th of December. We begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we will sing our hymn to the light, Light of the World in Grace and Beauty. Light of the world in grace and beauty, mirror of God's eternal face, transparent flame of love's free duty, you bring salvation to our race. Now as we see the lights of evening, we raise our voice in hymns of praise. Worthy are you of endless blessing, Son of our night, lamp of our days. And our psalm is Psalm 150, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with, la with cl clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We're going to sing our Advent hymn number 91, People Look East, and we're going to sing it in stages through the service, so we begin by singing verses 1 and 2. People look east, the time is near of the crowning of the year. Make your house fair as you are able. Trim the hearth and set the table. People look east and sing today. Love, the guest is on the way. For us be glad the earth is bare. One more seed is planted there. Give up your strength, the seed to nourish that in course the flower may flourish. People look east and sing today. Love, the rose is on the way. Our gospel is Luke 21, 21 20 to 28. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you. Lord Jesus Christ. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its destruction has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those out in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance, as a fulfillment of all that is written. Woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who are nursing infants in those days. For there will be great distress on earth, and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. These will be signs. There will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and on the earth distress among the nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, a lot of what the season of Advent is about is not just preparing our homes uh, for the Christmas, but it's also preparing our hearts for the second coming of Christ. And so we have this gospel lesson that sounds a little bit terrifying and a little bit confusing about these signs in the heavens and on the earth. And uh, there will be Jerusalem surrounded by armies. Keep in mind that lots of what is happening in this gospel was kind of taking place um, around A.D. 70, 
uh, when Jerusalem fell and the Romans swept through and destroyed the temple and everyone was scattered. Um, so some of this is probably talking about that, which Luke has sort of uh, lived, lived through. Um, but uh, some of it is also talking about Jesus coming at the end of time. Now, a lot of these um, readings tend to fill us with fear. Uh, and yet the world has been experiencing these types of signs, uh, being surrounded by armies, wars and rumors of war. Uh, being confused by the roaring of the sea. I mean, the the great weather events that we've been having, the tsunamis, the, all of this stuff seems to be happening all the time. And there's another uh, verse that we read not too long ago, uh, which says, about that time and that season, no one knows. So I think uh, rather than being filled with foreboding and fear about what's happening around us, and this is a year for that, a year of pandemic and, and disaster, just remember that the final verse is like, raise your voice, your redemption is near. We need not fear. Um, we have a lot to go through. We've been through a lot this year. But remember that you're not alone. First of all, you belong to a community of faith and we're gathering in this way. Um, when you're listening in your living room, perhaps, or your family room, uh, there are others listening at the same time and praying together. So we belong to a community. We're not alone, even when we can't gather together. Um, but even more important, we're not alone because the Spirit of Christ rests with us. Um, raise your head. Your redemption is near. Now we sing verses 3 and 4. For so you long have ceased to build, God, the nest that must be filled. Even the hour when wings are frozen, God, for fledgling time has chosen. People look east and sing today, love, the bird is on the way. Stars keep the watch when night is dim, one more light the bowl shall brim. Shining beyond the frosty weather, bright as sun and moon together. People look east and sing today, love, the star is on the way. Let us say together the Hero Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers, uh, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Luke and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in our prayers today, we continue to pray for those who need our prayers, especially the sick, uh, the sick known to each one of us praying in our homes, and also the sick in our parish, especially we pray for Joseph Sokowski, Jane Ross, Len, Alex, Nick, Jane Gatke, Jeff Smith, Bernice Peterson, Melanie and family, Cheryl Clark, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Jane, Jody and Glenn Cocker, Corinne Newell, Marion Conlon, Vic Burden, Jean Griffin, Dave, and Michael Benoit. We pray for them. We pray for all the sick everywhere that they might know the healing touch of Jesus in their lives and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and uh, for those who will die today. We pray, O oh Lord, that the dying might know your holy presence, ushering them into your kingdom. And for all who mourn, we pray that they might, even in the midst of grief, have a glimpse of their loved one's joy, which they know in your presence. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the refugee family we are sponsoring in Beirut, and we pray that the way will be paved for them to come to Canada as soon as possible. Praying for Mohammed, Karima, Fatan, and Ahmed Al Alam. Keep them safe, O oh Lord. Keep them healthy. And may their hope grow in them as they prepare to come to Canada. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list. And today we pray for Marilyn Mulberg, for Joan Montgomery, for Phyllis Montgomery, for Pauline Moody, for Belinda Mooney, for Eric Moore, for Michael and Nancy Moore, for Phil Moore, for Randy and Amy Morasut, and for Norma Morley. We give you thanks for them, O Lord. We pray for their health and well-being. And we pray, O Lord, that they might know they belong to a community of faith which prays and cares for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Diocese of Shaira in Rwanda and the Right Reverend Samuel Mugisha, their bishop. And we pray for the Diocese of Edmonton, which is currently vacant. We pray for them as they are choosing a new bishop. And we pray for all the clergy and people of those dioceses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today in our prayers, uh, we pray for uh, members of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. And today we pray for Brother Jeffrey Tristram. We give thanks for his ministry. We pray for his health and well-being. And we give you thanks for all he does for the wider community through his prayers and the exercising of his gifts in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray together the prayer from New Zealand for night time. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for the second week of Advent. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, to the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now we sing the final verse. Angels announce with shouts of mirth, Christ who brings new life to earth. Set every peak and valley humming with the word, the Lord is coming. People look east and sing today, love the Lord is on the way. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer tonight, and I hope you'll join us every night of the week except for Friday. Good night. <laughs>